Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today we're going to be doing another look with some of the stuff that I've gotten in through either Ipsy or BoxyCharm. Yesterday I used the new Pretty Vulgar highlighter. Today I'm using the Ciate London highlighter. This highlighter I got out of Ipsy. The Pretty Vulgar came from BoxyCharm. I did like how that highlighter looked, so we'll see how I like this highlighter. So let's get started on today's look. I'm going to start off, of course, with the Wet n Wild primer. Just get that everywhere I need it. Okay. Today I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation in the shade Natural Ivy 112. And just start getting that on my face. Today I'm not sure what kind of eye look I'm going for. I don't know if I wanted to go for a brown look or a red look. So I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Rose Gold Sunset Palette. It has both colors in it so I can choose what I start with my eyes. So, when I sat down to start planning this video, I just couldn't figure it out. I pulled out a lot of palettes and was looking and I was just like, you know, I don't know what look I want to do today. I really don't. <laughs> so, we'll just have to figure it out as we go. Okay, that should be good enough. So, foundation is on, and we're going to move on to concealer. Today, I am using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. This is a very good concealer if you can just get past this applicator. It is just a little strange. I just, I don't know about this applicator still, and I've had this for a while now. It does a very good job. It doesn't crease. It, you know, it 
conceals, makes my under eye area look great. I just am not a fan of this applicator. It throws me off. So, I just, I don't know about it. So, get that all into the skin. Okay. So, going in for setting powder with a pretty vulgar setting powder. I'm going to go straight to the eyes. I'm going in with a wet and wild flat top brush that I used yesterday. I need to do some brush cleaning. I didn't get to do last week because I was sick. But I'm going to go straight for the eyes first because that's where I had concealer. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face. I wish all of this cough and cold stuff would just go away. I'm so sick of it. sweep over here and face is set so because I'm using elf today I'm going to bake a little bit under the eyes because most of my elf shadows have a tendency to have fallout and I don't want that all over my face. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of Cody Airspun under my eyes. And knock that off my sponge real quick. And okay, so this is what the rose gold sunset palette looks like. Let me open it up for you guys. That is my color selection. I got some browns, some reds, some golds. Hmm. Let's see here. I'm going to take this Alamar Big Fluffy brush. And I'm going to take this Wet n Wild creme brulee single shadow because I don't have a shadow light enough in this set and I'm just going to brush that all over my lid Okay, now then, I'm going to take this Luxie 229 brush right here, it's a nice little blending brush, I'm going to use it for my crease today. Let's see, I'm going to go into this like have a little darker brown moment. I want to 
kind of just buff that shade out. I'm not taking the darkness all the way across. I want to just blend that into a lighter shade over here on this side. Keep the darkness on this side. use this elf blending brush with nothing on it and I'm going to go right here onto the inner side because I have like some spots where it's kind of laying down a little weird. I just want to blend those out so it looks a little bit more even. Okay yeah that's doing the trick. All right so now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side hopefully. I do not like working on this eye. It doesn't do the things I want it to do. Now then, I'm going to take this shading brush and I'm going to go into an even darker color, but I'm just going to keep it right here on this outer corner. Then I'm going to take the shader brush and blend it into the other color. just to give that little depth to the outside corner. One eye looks great, the other eye looks like crap. Oh, uh. Okay. What is that gonna get? Let's see here. Um, Four 
my lid. I do want to go in with a gold. Oh, that sure is crap. <coughs> See if it applies any better with a finger. Let's see if I wet my finger. Make that work a little bit. Now I applied the first part of it with my finger. I'm going to take and wet a brush. Go back into the same shade. I'm going to darken up the outside of the lid a little bit where it's darker. take this crown brush we're gonna dust off our bake and there was some fallout so it's a good thing I had that bake on I'm gonna take let's see here I'm gonna take this pencil brush it's just kind of a no-name weirdly shaped pencil brush and I'm going to dip into a lighter gold color in this palette and I'm going to go to my brow bone just shaping out the top of that correcting any blending errors and highlighting a little bit there we go okay So, not bad, not bad, uh, it's decent. Okay, now we're going to move on, let me reach in here, I'm going to use a little bit of priming water since I did bake and knock down some of this powder on my face real quick, wet and wild cube cucumber primer water just knock a little bit of the powders down on my face for contouring today i'm going to be using the physician's formula bronze bronze booster i'm going to be going into the darker shade like i did yesterday i'm just going to go in with this luxie 680 pro which y'all all know is my favorite contouring brush and lay down my contour line then I'm going to go back over that let's see I'm going to take my powder brush that I was using. I'm going to go into this Physician's Formula 
airbrush pressed powder in the shade beige. I'm going to take this powder brush, just dip in and buff over the contour just to kind of even it out just a little bit where it's not such a stark contrast on my face. And now on to bronzer. For bronzer today, we're using the Wet n Wild Sunset Strip Tease Bronzer. Going in with my Eco Tools Define Brush. And going to go ahead and lay that down around the perimeter of my face into that contour line that we just softened up just a little bit. For blush today, I go into my Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink Blush and use my Eco Tools Precision Blush Brush and just a little dab and we're done with that. So let's go into the Ciate Glow 2 Glow Highlighter. Get my highlighter brush and just clean that off real quick. Okay, so I'm going to take my finger and just pat on then I'm going to take my Luxie 522 taper tapered highlighting blush highlighting brush Ugh, can't talk today and just go to where I tapped on highlighter and emphasize those areas It's not bad, but uh, it's okay. Now then, going to hit my face again with some primer water because all of my powders are on my face now. And we're going to go into eyebrows. So Wet n Wild's Retractable Pencil in the shade Taupe. And just hit those eyebrows real quick. for my nose to stop running. I'm ready to stop coughing. I'm ready for my voice to be back. I'm ready for all of that stuff. Then for mascara, of course, I'm going in with the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara and just getting it down and onto the lash.
Okay. One are down. Ugh, I hate this eye. Okay, anyway, now that I've got my mascara on, finally, we're going to go into lips, and we're going to be revisiting one of the first Jeffree Star lipsticks that I used from the mystery boxes that I got for Valentine's Day and I'm going to be using the shade Jeffrey Who which is more of a red It's a more pinky red than straight up pink. I needed a break from all the pink. Anyway, guys. So, this is the look for today. And I think I'm going to do another spritz of primer water. And let that sink into my skin before I set my face. But anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, go ahead and subscribe and ring that bell next to it so that you're notified every time I upload. I upload Monday through Friday before 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. In the description box down below is all of my social media and I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So come see me across the internet and let me know what you think. What do you want to see next? Do you have any information that you want me to try? Do you want me to do a different kind of video? Do you want me to do another q and A? I did one earlier in my YouTube career. Do you want to learn some more? What do you want to see? What do you want to do? And we will make it happen. Um, later this week, I will be doing an attempt at a cut crease. Um, fingers crossed. I don't look like an insane person by the end of that video. Um, and we'll see what else I come up with for this week. But anyway, guys. Leave any comments, questions, concerns, issues down in the comment box down below. I do get back to you guys on the regular very quickly unless I'm asleep because I have to go to work. And then as soon as I wake up, I do comment back. So I'm going to set my face with this Hard Candy Matte Share Envy Setting Spray. And I'm going to end the video here. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.